<laughs> no, there's no fire. This is Joe Satriani, and uh, I'm here to show you some chicken foot songs. I'm going to start with a song called Turn and Left, and you'll be able to hear it on here. Well, you're probably already hearing it on here because I'm already on there. Not this one, but one just like it. Okay. So now, turn and left. Guitars turn down to E flat, and we're playing in B, so that puts us in a concert B flat. Simple double time for the guitars, half time for the drums, and uh, it, I'll sort of play it slow. It's basically a blues riff. Play it up to speed and you turn up the guitar. It's got this other riff with the rest of the band. much like that and we shave a beat off the second time around like this pretty much like that the solo and turn and left since it's a live track was just improvised so I don't memorize those things I played it we played that song three times, and that was just the third one that came out. So, But I guess what I'm thinking of is uh, we modulate, we go down to our F sharp, and I'm really just thinking about playing my 16th notes. So I'm thinking... That kind of a sound where I'm just going da 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 da. I'm trying not to play too fast. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to do these. Too much of that kind of stuff. The only real fast thing I do at the end is a trick with a pick that goes. And that gets me back to B. Um, but pretty much, it's about. I look at it as it. Uh, it's an ensemble solo. In other words, rhythmically, I'm staying with Mike. Mike's going do 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 so I'm just playing all those, and I'm staying within F sharp Dorian, with a couple of blue notes thrown in there. Then at the end of the song, the second solo, that's really crazy. There's a lot of feedback. I open the doors to the speaker cabinet, so I was just turning around and facing the cabinets with the guitar to get feedback. I'm doing some crazy things with Sam. I'm playing these. Uh, trying to get the high, there it is, getting the high B harmonics there with Sam. I think I even did, but I went right about here. So I could get it in key of B. I know that sounds weird, but I did it really good that day we recorded it, but that's pretty much it. With those tricks, you never know how they're going to turn out. Um, so that's about it for turning left. All right, here we go. I'll do it kind of normal speed. Now, the second time around that riff, we kind of double it up. It goes like this. There's a little trick that's very subtle with this because the song is basically a riff and E, then it has a D chord, an A and an E. When I play that D chord, I actually hit the A string on purpose, so it goes. 
So you're hearing that, the D chord plus the A. It just makes it really wide that way. And then when we go to the A, it doesn't sound so because I'm already playing the A in the D chord. Just gives it a, maybe a sloppier feel, uh, but the whole thing is to make it really broad, very wide sounding. It's, it's an, uh, a kind of a three-part thing. We have this. But I'm really digging in. If you could see from here, I'm going. And I'm doing the same thing on the A chord. the same thing in B, and then we get down to the... So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the low E string, and then I'm palming the bar here, the whole assembly of the bridge, and I'm hitting... I'm trying to get something like an F, a little bit of an F sharp. Like that. So the live version has this. Sam sings. <laughs> that. When we finish with the studio version, we overdub some other guitars to make it sound a little scarier. Um, and then the solo comes in, and I switch to the neck pickup, and uh, it kind of goes Phrygian dominant. Now that's, that's kind of the scale. So I'm starting with a little, I'm doing a little blues riff, I think that goes something like, that Phrygian Dama thing, and then I think I'm playing like I... And it... Something like that, I don't really remember, but I'm just kind of freaking out. And then it goes back to the... And Sam sings, and we go back to the ensemble riff. Uh, the chorus is easy. A, D. The only weird change is the F, G6, and the B. And when we get to the end, it's a B mixolydian solo, so you're hearing... I like that. And I'm just playing off of... Major scale with a flat seven, for those of you who are inclined for music theory. And I'm stepping on the big bed wah and just playing too many notes, basically, until Sam comes in and makes us stop. So that's that song. You know, the JS guitars have got a, a filter, a high-pass filter on the volume control. So if I have a big sound like this, and I turn the volume control down, it gets very clean kind of strat telly like So for this particular song, that's exactly what I did. And it goes like this. It's basically just a blues riff. Basically, you can think it of an E chord, a D chord, and an A chord with its third in the bass. So that's the first inversion A chord. And that's kind of like how that whole riff goes. It's just that I'm not playing any chords. on and on, and then we get to the big chords. Now 
Now it's important to note those particular chords. This is a what would you call a, a pedal bass note, and I'm playing different. I'm establishing different key signatures, but all over E. So I have the E, and uh, which is sort of like an A minor over E, and I have a, a flatted fifth here, and then back to the E, and I do basically what's an A chord, and then a C chord, and then back to the E minor. So it just adds a little more harmony for the guitar to play under. And I think I started with a harmonic. Now the next part, I can't play for you on this guitar because I used a Ibanez JS Prototype 24 fret guitar, which has two more frets than the JS 1000, and I was able to get a high F sharp and a high G. If I'm playing it on here, I've got to try really hard to get my thumb right about here, and maybe right now I'll get it. So when I play that an octave lower, the harmonic will give me the octave higher. I got it. <laughs> Turn the volume control down and go back to. And that's it for Oh Yeah. Hi, this is Joe Satriani saying goodbye. Thank you for listening to me play. Go out and uh, listen to that Chicken Foot record and please come see us. We're coming here. I think we're playing the Olympia. I don't know when. I should have this memorized, but I don't. Some, sometime between June and July, I'm sure the guys who make this DVD will tell you. They'll flash it right about here, I think. And they'll come see us. Bye. <laughs>